Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to uh, upgrade uh, my Asus Viva Book. It only came with 64 gigabytes and I am going to attempt to put in a NIM.2 SSD into it. Uh, it's a 4.0 NVMe. Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure they can take this inside and there has to be some way to upgrade it. So I am just going to take the back of the computer, I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to see can I disassemble it and put in the drive. And then after that we will see can we see the drive. If we can't see the drive we will use disk management. So I got myself a crucial P. Uh, P3 Plus which is uh, uh, one terabyte I bought and it's a uh, it's it's pretty budget. It, the screws don't all look the same in this. So what I'm going to bear in mind, these ones look like they're different than these ones. These ones are, are not shiny and these ones are shiny here. But I'll take them out just to make sure. So we'll just get a normal Phillips, small, small Phillips of course. We can put them on the side where they're going if you like, but I, I have a feeling that they are different screws. So as suspected, the, one, the, the four here beside where the, where the speaker is are smaller and so is, the one in the, in the, so is the one in the middle, it's smaller than them. You can use the back of a nail file very gently to get it started, but you should be able to get it off with the back of a plastic spoon. But, uh, I'm having a little bit of difficulty because it's not hard enough, but uh, we'll turn it up on its edge here. Once you get started, you just nice and gently and it should come out. Don't use a knife, whatever you do, don't use something as sharp as a knife. And uh, Take your time, it'll prize out, it'll come out for you. As I said, take your time at this, and then the, screen, the back will come off it. So now we can see the inside of the back of, uh, of, the, of the laptop, and it says here, uh, SSD. You see where it says it here? No, I'm upside down. If I turn that way, right, it's the same. Lots of people have said there's no uh, M.2 slot here. There is one. It's there. It's not so obvious, but it goes across here. So we have got this, uh, we're going to put the crucial one in here. The, the, the flat part always goes on the bottom and you can put it in nice and gently at about 10 degrees. And then it, this one, this push in like that. And then this slots down here, there's a little recess. And then we take the little screw. Now I have a little shake in my hand, so don't, <laughs> I will still get this in, don't worry. And then I will screw this in. And that's it, and then we put it back together, but we have to remember what way we had with the screws. Do you remember I told you there was different sides of screws? So that's all we have to do. We may need to go into disk management, but we will put it back together now like the way we took it apart, and then I'll be back. You just push them all down like that all round before you start putting in the screws. And then we'll start putting the screws in. I had the speakers this way, so my screws are in this order now. I know they're correct. So I'm after just uh, rebooting uh, the computer now, and as I guessed, it's not there. So what I'm going to do is I'll just hold this back up here. Just do search for disk management, and I'll do search for disk management, and disk management will come up. It says you must initiate the drive uh, before logical disk can do it. Just click OKM. OK That's a master boot record. And then you're left with, uh, you're left with, it's still unallocated. As you, maybe you can see it there. It's still unallocated after that. So we're going to allocate it. Uh, we'll make a new single volume. 
and we're going to, it, it'll automatically say D if you have C already. And that's what I want. Now, what a lot of people will do after this is they will move to, they will do an a image of the operating system and create an image on it and put it on an extra drive and then put it back onto this. I'm not going to do that for the moment. I think I will do it later, all right, for sure, because uh, the 64 is so little. Uh, and format and all that and you press next and then press finish and then we have our new drive and then we go back in here and you see we have our new, I don't know if you can see it there with the studio lights but uh, we have our uh, volume D there and uh, it's completely empty so I can put stuff on it now and I can bring this I think I will leave it like this for now and then back this one up eventually but uh, it's a good option though to put the windows on this drive rather than on the other one especially if you're going to put on some more programs uh, for this one I'm not going to put on much programs not for now I'm going to keep it lightweight because I have two other computers so that's my review how to upgrade your Asus uh, Viva book there were several people there said that you can't, uh, you can't upgrade it, they opened it, but they just didn't see where it's, it doesn't make it clear, it doesn't write M.2 there, but uh, as, I, as I said, it's there and it's easy to do, it just takes, it just will not, maybe not recognised after you start it, and it only takes a couple of minutes, it's very, very quick to do, it takes 10 minutes to do the whole job. The crucial uh, one gigabyte, uh, four points, 4.0 NVMe uh, M.2 uh, is, is it's great it's a very good value for money and it will do fine here from my storage on my computer so thank you very much for watching and if you like this video or any of our other videos here on Irish Chippy please subscribe